In this video, we're going to go through the struggles I've had sealing my camper top to my pickup truck. The camper top I'm using is a Lear uh, 100XR, um, and my camper truck, the truck itself is a 2023 Nissan Frontier. But I'm sure that if this would be helpful to other uh, people who have camper tops that are leaking and want to get them sealed once and forever. So watch this video all the way to the end to see the struggles and tribulations I had to go through to, to make this happen. And uh, make sure you check the description below for a link to the product that I used uh, to put on the camper top to replace the factory seal. Thanks for watching the video. Okay, so I got this 2023 Nissan Frontier and I bought a Lear uh, 100 XR camper top for it and we installed it or had it installed on the truck and it's been leaking ever since I got it and we've tried to fix the leaks a few times and we haven't had much success to that so uh, we took the topper we took the topper off the truck and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove these plastic uh, rail covers and take them off the truck because first off, they're holding it, the camper top up about a half an inch too much, and I think some of the water is blowing in. Now, if you notice on this side, there's very little moisture here, here, but there's really a lot on the other side. And we're getting moisture coming in from the sides, and you can see where the water has been on this down through here. And the seal that they put on this camper top from the factory is smashed flat. So I'm not too sure what that's all about. Now I added a couple, about a year ago, I added this um, bulkhead seal right here across there and it seems to have helped quite a bit. But uh, we're still getting some water intrusion. So what we're gonna do is take these bed cap rails off today and just mount the camper top directly to the metal truck bed. And we're probably gonna add some more tape to it. I'm gonna let you know how that goes. So we loosened the bed rail cover and you can see there's all kinds of water. There's water coming out from under that. Went all the way down the truck. Yeah. So it's holding water under that under that uh, thing too. But see here, that's, it's all confusing to me. So here's what we've done so far. We removed the plastic uh, bed rail covers off of this truck. And you'll notice there's a bunch of little slots cut in this. So what we've done, we went down to the local Home Depot and bought some garage door, garage door bottom seal and some white Gorilla Tape. And my idea is we're going to put white Gorilla Tape across the top of this to cover these holes up. And then we're going to just lay the garage seal on top of there as we put the camper top back down. And that's the plan right now. So we bought uh, this garage door bottom seal EPDM rubber. Uh, it's made to nail on the bottom of a garage door, but we're gonna use it on the truck bed. And um, this roll here is 16 feet long. So this is a 6.25 inch uh, foot bed. And I had to buy two rolls. I had to buy the 16 foot roll and another nine foot roll to go across the front of the truck because uh, the two sides in the front is more than 16 feet or it's real close. So we're gonna remove this uh, tape sealant right here and clean all this up. And we're gonna get some silicone out and we're gonna start siliconing around where the bed meets in these corners. Now I've already put some uh, uh, flex seal in here yesterday trying to seal all this up and I got some black ones and used a putty knife but it didn't do what I needed it to do completely so we're going to have to do a little bit more like you got a crack right here in the corner of the bed so uh, I used some alcohol and cleaned this off real good so we're going to get this removed right here okay the first thing we did is we got some of that gorilla tape that we bought and we covered this whole top of this bed on both sides, covered all them holes up that was holding that plastic um, cover on top of that bed rail. We're gonna take that off completely 
And next thing we're going to do is work on these corners in the bed right here and silicone all that up and get that all sealed up. And then we're going to apply the garage door uh, rubber and set the camper top back down on this truck. So far we're hoping this works. Uh, I think the key is to get that, those covers off the bed, these black covers right here. Um, there's not even stake pockets in this truck. It's just decorative basically. And it just popped off and we got it off of that truck. Okay, so what we've done is we've siliconed these areas back in this bed that had cracks leading to the inside of the bed over here. And we also siliconed this gap right there. Now we're having a discussion about putting this garage door ceiling and how to do it. And we wanna put the front piece on a little bit. So what we're talking about doing is, you'll notice it has a long edge of it. We're talking about letting it hang over uh, below the camper top so it'll kind of shed water away from the camper top shell edge. And then we're going to have to decide what we're going to do on the sides. Now we're not going to glue this stuff down. We're just going to lay it on there and seal it down at the camper top. Okay, so what we've done, we've put the uh, garage door uh, EDPM rubber seal and we've just loosely tack taped it into place. We're not going to glue it down or anything, but what we're going to do now is we're going to pick up the camper top uh, with the skid steer and we're going to lift it right back up on the truck and we're going to stuff that rubber into the areas it needs to go into and uh, see how that works out. Okay, we have finished up resealing the camper top on the 2023 uh, Nissan Frontier. Now, uh, this is a long wheelbase, so this is a 6.25 uh, bed. And I was having some problems with water intrusion uh, in the factory, the factory ceiling between the bed and the camper top was, was not working properly. So, as I said earlier in the video, we had taken the uh, bed rail, the bed rail caps off of the bed and we got some Gorilla Tape and sealed across that. We've got some garage door uh, EDPM rubber on the front and on the two sides. We also had, I found another leak. Uh, we had to come up here to the front corner. This is a summary of what we did. I had to come up here to the front corner and seal up in these areas here where there were cracks. And we also sealed on the inside of the truck using some flex paste, black flex paste, since this, this truck here has a spray-in bed liner. And we did that up in that corner area and that corner area over there. That was where most of it is. So what we did is we actually put the truck in a dark garage and took a, a, a light and went around the perimeter of the camper top looking for light leaks. And that's how we kind of found most of this. And then the last place that we had to uh, seal up that was leaking was this light right here. For some reason at the top center, the fiberglass, there's a gasket on there. It was not touching the gasket and it was leaking there and dripping straight down uh, inside, inside the camper top here on the mat right down there, okay? So we're going to take it out camping this weekend. It's supposed to rain. I'm gonna give it a, tri a trial run and see how well we did and I will report that in this video and I will not publish this video until I do have a full report so you all know what I did worked or did not work. I watched several videos on YouTube and a lot of them are not real clear but there was one gentleman uh, had about a two minute video using this um, garage door sealant uh, rubber and it made the most sense. We did not glue it to the truck so when we take it off this stuff's going to fall off which is fine, okay? We didn't really want to glue it to the truck. I don't plan on taking this camper top off the truck ever. Uh, I bought it so I could go camping in the truck. And as, as long as I own the truck, it'll probably stay on there. So I'll let you know how we did after this weekend's camping trip. Okay, we're back on the camper top dilemma. And previously in some videos I showed you, we tried to seal the camper top to the truck. 
it did not work. It leaked anyways, even after all the work we did. So just to recap what we did is we took the plastic bed rails off the truck and we used some Gorilla Tape to cover all the holes that were in this bed rail. It's the 2023 Nissan Frontier. And we added some uh, under garage door foam to the camper top and it came from the factory with this, um, with this stuff, okay? And it's not real good. So we're taking all that off and I bought some new uh, uh, rubber sealant stuff, e EDPM rubber from Amazon. And we're going to reapply it along the rail of this camper top. And then we're going to use a little bit of silicone and we're going to put it back on the truck to see if it stops the water leaks. So far, we have not been successful in stopping the water leaks on this Lear 100XR camper top on this 2023 Nissan Frontier. We just peeled off the old uh, adhesive, the old uh, sealant, bubble sealant off this camper top and I've got me some alcohol in a rag and we peeled everything off that we can get down to the fiberglass and I'm going along now the uh, whole edge of this camper top with some 91% uh, alcohol, full strength, cleaning it up so our new uh, rubber sealant will adhere to the camper top uh, better. One of the things uh, that we've noticed here, let me pull this camera over a little closer, is uh, along this edge, the bulkhead edge, the front, the carpet uh, is kind of sloppily put on. It's got some extra pieces of carpet hanging over where they stretch it, I guess. So we're gonna trim that off. You think we should trim that off along the top edge right here? Right, right here where it's loose? Just go right along that edge, take all that off? Because it's probably just wicking, isn't it? Yeah, just so what we're gonna do is right here, let me show you here at the camera, right here where this, this carpet's kind of hanging over this edge all down through here, it's loose. So um, there's no adhesive on it where they sprayed the adhesive to put the headliner in. So we're just gonna take a razor knife and we're gonna cut that off down through there, hopefully. I may have to get a new razor blade. Let's see, I think I just go on top. I don't want to do that. Let's do it with a pair of scissors. I think a pair of scissors would do better than a razor knife. Going along the whole edge of the camper top on this uh, overhang and peeling off or cutting off the excess carpet, uh, we feel like maybe that excess carpet, uh, if there's any water gets against it, it may wick on inside. Uh, around the edge here. So we're just kind of peeling it back and cutting it. It's no adhesive on it, so it's just coming off, you know, like that, just coming off of there. So we're kind of working on this side right here, on the side, doing the same thing. And we clean, ouch, I just cut myself. Be careful when you're using box cutters. Uh, we can feel the moisture over here. They probably can do a better job from the factory. Watch that camera behind you. They probably can do a better job from the factory cleaning this topper up before they send it on. Uh, or maybe they, maybe they think the dealer should be doing that. Uh, my dealer just had it on a forklift and just lifted it on the truck and bolted it down and said, thank you very much. Anyways, we're working on this, getting it all cleaned up before we apply the new rubber seal and I'll put a link in the description uh, for the Amazon link where I got that from what's odd is I've already spent 
about $35 locally, and that didn't solve the problem from Home Depot. And I went ahead and spent another $35 from Amazon. Uh, I'm probably about, a, I'd say about $100 trying to stop the leaks on this thing. One of the things that uh, we found out here is right here on this camper top, there's a step down. Uh, if you can see it right there, it's not level across here. And that could be some of the problem. Now they may have done this in the molding for this uh, Frontier 2023 because the Frontier uh, 2023 had a black covered bed rail cover that we took off, uh, as you remember, and took it off completely. So what we're trying to do now is figure out how we're going to make this kind of level. You can see the step down right here. And uh, we're thinking about bringing the foam up to this way like that, and then button another piece in that way and then siliconing the heck out of it. So we haven't decided what we're gonna do yet, but we're still looking at that. So in order to build that, lead, that lift up, we've decided we had to use some of this other foam tape that we bought off of Amazon too, and run two strips of it down the sides. And then we're gonna put the new stuff over top of this. And that should level this camper top where that step down was. We put two uh, thin strips down both sides of this foam sealant that I had bought previously from Amazon. And we've added some uh, silicone, some white silicone, that's all I had right now, along this edge where that lip was I was talking about. And hopefully we'll get that sealed up. And then we're gonna apply the new uh, rubber sealant on the topper. Do we think we need to? Okay, here's what we did. We had to uh, build up the outside rails so it would match the level of the bulkhead. We had to get it level. There was a lip there, I showed it to you. Now we have applied the triple rib EDPM rubber that we got from Amazon along the side rails. We have applied, we had to cut the one in the front to only show two ribs because it's narrower. We applied some silicone in the seals now we're gonna turn the bed over, uh, the, the cap over, and get it ready to put back on the bed. And we're gonna apply some silicone along this outer edge of this ribbing right here, just for added protection. And we don't know what else to do. This is all we can do and try it. Okay, what we're doing now is we're gonna pick the camper. Hold on. Up just a little. We'll square it up on there after he gets it in there. Go ahead and slide it forward. Wait a minute. Probably don't want to slide it. Hey, Jonathan, we need to kind of square him up, square this up to him. Okay, if you want to pick up on that corner there and take this corner that way. That way? Yeah. Okay, right there. Okay, come on in. That tire.
So what we've done is we run a, a, a bead of silicone on the outside edge of this rubber uh, sealant, this e EPDM rubber, all the way down through there. I took a piece of cardboard and just kind of smoothed it out a little bit. We're doing both sides, but not the front. And we're doing the outside edge uh, out here where it's outside of the pickup truck on the outside of the bed rail. What we're doing now is we're putting the camper top back on the truck. We'll just do that right now in the video. This has been a tough project to get sealed up. I hope we've done a good job with it. Let's get him right to here and stop him and then let him down slow. I say let's, let's bring him down a little bit. See how high it's holding up? Yeah. So are we, we're going to hope that we'll squeeze it down. Oh, it'll pull it down there. Okay. I mean, that's the, the other one didn't do that. It was it was already sitting next to the bed when we did it's that. It's not heavy enough to match that gasket that's what it is. Yeah. But we're going to do that when we squeeze it down. If i got to put a couple extra C-clamps on it, okay. Well, that'd be okay, wouldn't it? Well, I wouldn't think it would hurt it. Instead of having two, have three down the sides. Um, what we need to do, well, I mean, definitely need to go that way. The front does. The back, yeah, the, the back whole. Does too. Let me see. I got my fingers in there. Let me see. I think. I think. Yeah, we need to go that way. You need to split the difference. The side yeah, let's do the back side. You want me to get up? Do you want me to get it? I got to move. Oh, the front now. If you get on that side, yeah, pick up a little bit and and what happened? Oh no! Are you okay? Ready? Yeah. Oh, a little bit more. Oh, let me see what we got here. I think it needs to go more some more in the front. I'm a little snugger on the back than the front over here. Yep, let's start with the front. Hold on. Now. Yep. Okay. Now the side. Yep. Oh, now the back. I'm flush right here. Okay. You definitely got more gasket because it's holding it up for you. Mm-hmm. What I'm going to do is, is uh, I'm going to clamp it down. If y'all good with the position of it, go ahead and clamp it down. We definitely got good uh, contact. 
So we got it back on the truck and got it lined up. And uh, one thing we noticed right away, this gasket is considerably thicker than the factory gasket. So the cap is already raised up quite a bit more uh, than what it was from the factory side. So we're gonna clamp it down now and see what happens, see if we can tighten it up. Okay, we got the camper top back on the truck and squeezed down and tightened. Uh, we did not use an impact to tighten these down. We use a, a socket and a box end wrench to get those torqued pretty good. We don't wanna trust this to an impact. Uh, we put a little silicone in the end of this one rib that's exposed. What I was looking at is the ridge. I guess it won't go down there. The, the, ga the gap. I think we need to do anything there. That's what I was saying when we put it on there. That's the reason I was measuring this. About putting that all the way in. Because uh -huh. now that rib is just laying on the inside all the way up. It is. So hopefully after the second attempt to seal the Lear 100XR onto the 2023 Nissan Frontier, we have accomplished that. Now I won't know until it rains and I go driving around and all that good stuff if I was able to finally seal this camper top to this truck. Um, I did this video because I didn't find any other videos on the Frontier, uh, the Nissan Frontier and the Lear camper tops. So I hope this helped you and I hope it worked. I will report back uh, and let you know if it did work or if it didn't work. Okay, good morning. So this is the day after we did the major upgrade to the camper shell ceiling and it rained most of the night. So now is the true test, did it work? So I've come out here this morning to my truck and I'm gonna climb up in the bed and check it out to see if it worked. And we'll know in this video whether it worked or not. Here's my truck right here. And we're gonna go ahead and open up the back hatch. And I'm gonna change the position of this camera. Okay, it's a little breezy this morning, so I had to put the camera inside the truck with me so it wouldn't blow over. So what I'm going to do now is run my hand all along the edge here to see if I feel any water. And so far, it's dry. There is no... There's no water that came in while the truck was sitting still, okay, uh, in the driveway. So, so far, what we did in the video on the second attempt, so I'm glad to report that the truck camper top stayed dried um, last night in the rain while the truck was sitting here. So that makes me very happy. Uh, I don't feel any water anywhere uh, around the topper. Now, I've still got to drive the truck in the rain, which might make a difference, but right now I'm not seeing that that's going to make a difference. So I'm going to call this a success on this video, and I'm going to finish this up in the house. So dealing with this camper top in this truck has been quite the challenge and it's taken a considerable amount of time to solve the problem. And uh, I did spend a little bit of money on some new material, but the real rundown here is this. Uh, when these camper shells come from the factory, they're not putting the best seal that you could get on there. Um, my suggestion to you is if you're going to put one of these on your truck, or if you're having leakage issues that you purchase the product that I have a link to in the description from Amazon and use it because to me it was a far better superior product than what they provided from the factory from Lear. I've been struggling with this leaking camper top for about a year off and on. I camp in the back of my truck. It's important to me 
that uh, my stuff stays dry back there, especially my bedding and, and stuff that's on the floor. So I think we have solved this problem, hopefully, and I hope the video was helpful for you. And uh, if you did get some use out of it, would you please mind giving me a, a thumbs up like on the video? And uh, if you want to uh, keep up with some of the other things that I do in my photography and camping and what have you, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. And if you have any comments about this video, okay, you want to, to tell me something or ask me a question about something, I'd be more than happy to answer those questions for you. Listen, my name is Ron Durant. I live in East Tennessee. I'm a photographer, and I'm going to retire soon. I'm going to do a lot more photography. Y'all have a nice day now. Bye.